time to clean the fish tank. Do you know, I love having fish because I love fish tanks. We always have. But clean them out. In fact, once I get into it, I don't mind, but it's just the thought of it. So here we go. So I have to bring out all the ornaments. We don't do this that often. In fact, I don't think we've actually done this since August. But the more we get into winter, the more we have the, the actual the aquarium light on, the more it needs cleaning because it produces more algae when it's got more light. So I'm going in and I'm getting everything out. Be careful that I don't smash anything. Oh, there has been once or twice where I've actually brought a fish out as well. <laughs> and I've seen it in the bottom of the um, bucket alive because water does collect in the bottom of there with all this stuff and I've managed to put them back in but to be honest we don't really have many fish in there at the moment because we've got one fish a clown loach and he's a little bit aggressive and um, he doesn't really like newcomers he's let a couple stay and I don't really know what happened to the rest yeah uh, he's not the very fittest, accepting I think it was no we've got an angel fish who is lovely he wouldn't harm he's anybody he's there left no. He's fine. He's really nice actually. But it's got that stripy one there. You've got to watch. He's kind of rules the tank. He does resemble a shark. Where's all the other fish? Exactly. We haven't really hardly got any. But we, we hardly have any. Where's the orange though? I think until that clown orch is gone, there won't be any more. Where's the orange? There. I don't know, Ben. Keep looking. We did have three clown loaches, so he's obviously the oldest and he's survived the longest. So, we had, like years longer we had than the two others. Ones. So, once he's actually well, we had two bright orange ones, departed the tank, then I think it'd be safe to put other oh, fish in. Where's the other two orange ones? I don't know, Ben. I think just who's in there is going to stay there. So, the next thing I do once I have all the ornaments out is I give them all a brush down, some fresh water, we either wear that. Oh, toothbrush gets into all the little bits. We got this rocket so we could Elton John the tank up a little bit. Because every element of the house needs a element of Elton. Rocket man. Cash. Ornament. So the bigger ones I can just do that. Ow, water's getting hot. <laughs> And then these plants. You know, we've had these ornaments since we, as long as we've had the tank. I haven't really renewed anything. So these are, must be about 12, 12 years old now. They're all right, aren't they? Considering you get your money's worth. If you're thinking of getting a, a fish tank and aquarium, don't worry about splashing out on ornaments because they really do last. I mean, some of these were quite pricey back in the day. But what their money's worth. They are getting a little bit. Um, ready for a player thing. Saying that will do for now. This is, this is actually quite a new ornament. We've got a few or new ornaments, it's just the plants that have kind of been there since day one. Yeah, the rocket's new and that's but, um, new, that's about it. <laughs> the marine's new. Uh, back to the beach. Oh, this is new. The beach thing new. There's a bridge as well that was quite new. Right, so I've done my bit. I've cleaned all the ornaments. I've, oh, do you know what I haven't done? Do you know why it's taken me? Has it taken me so long? I haven't cleaned the actual tank glass. I normally do that first. I'm just gonna do it now. Never mind. It will get done. So Holly, for we're doing that in a sec. So first of all, th this bit I clean all the ornaments, and then I lay it out like this, ready for Dad to once he's emptied percentage of the water and put fresh water in and, and done all the water chemicals and everything. Um, he then lit, puts everything back into the tank how I've kind of arranged it but he's getting really good at putting it all in really well at first I years back I used to have to look at it and go mm, not bad I'm just going to adjust that a little bit just you know but practice makes perfect he's getting pretty good so I'm gonna go and clean up the, uh, the glass now this is the cleaning of the tank as in the cleaning of the glass bit. I think it's um, perspex actually. No, yeah, plastic, is that perspex? Oh, this is where I get my arm really wet. I usually kind of strip off to do this, like I do when I clean the bathroom, but obviously I'm on film, so I won't. Um, so I, I get this. You can get proper sponges from the pet shops, which cost five times as much as your regular non-scratch sponge. 
And over the years, I've become to realise that this does just as good a job. It does not harm the tank or the fish whatsoever. So I go around all the surface area of the plastic glass. You can get both. I think this is plastic. Um, try and get under the under the sand. We were recommended sand when we first got our tank because it's quite easy to clean because a lot of the mess can just land on the actual surface of the sand that you could lift up if you should you need to. It doesn't get stuck in all the gravelly bits and trapped beneath the little stones. So I'll go around all of this, which might get a bit boring if you're watching, but once I've done all that, it's Chris's turn! Woo! Don't tell me a topical fish. It's just like, and this is not a word, but I'm going to make it a word. Mingiest thing ever. Minginist, minginiest thing ever. Mingin. Absolutely mingin. Right, so, so <laughs> this is the filter, and this filters all the poop and everything and the food. And, and it's just really, really hard to... Right, let me just show you. That's all the sludge and slime. Horrible. And you know so, Dad's serious when he makes uh, I'm an ice surgeon, get out of me. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Face. Uh, <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> it's mingity ming 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 mini ming 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 That's mingy. <laughs> oh, it's just really hard to to try and separate the Because there's sand and all sorts stuck in there. Ugh. You done? No. Oh man. Filming a man. Yay! Oh man alive. It's Doesn't just... help that it was all slippery because it was wet. Yeah, well, slippery not because it was wet, slippery because of all the gunk. Okay, we don't need... <laughs> it sinks that way. Yeah. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to fast forward. What I'll do is all I do is, is take all the sludge out of there and Good wash look. all the sponges, all the interiors, and then I put some chemicals in the water. Uh, so I think we'll just fast forward all past all this rubbish because it's just... Uh, Minging. And then I'll show you me putting all the bits and bobs in that I've been trained to do over the past seven years. <laughs> Very blue. I'm blue. Da -ba -di. Da -ba -ba, da -ba -di, da -ba -da. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pump the water out of here. So I have to suck on this to withdraw the water. No, I don't. Uh, so <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm really? So you believe that as well. So yeah, what I'm you do is you pop that down there. Don't and that in there, no, and then I pump away at this. Ready? So I move it up and down. Watch, watch, watch. Look. There you go. And that withdraws that. So I make sure, watch, we do that, it's like a vacuum cleaner. So it sucks up all the rubbish. Don't get no, no, no. The fish move away. Well, I've got water in there anyway, so you get it. Yeah. It just scoops all that rubbish out of there. There you go, and I exchange the water over. And this is actually picking up the fish poo as well. Is it satisfying? It's uh, not really, but uh, it's necessary. That's what it is. So making sure that. I don't pour any water. Make sure <laughs> I've got it towards the bucket. Okay. 
There we go. So just move that around the side, just slush it around. And what I do, I exchange at least a third of the water out of here and exchange it around. Stop the ding there if you want. What fish tank is it? It's, it's a tropical. Tropical fish tank. Yeah. So no goldfish? No. We're doing about this in science. So this is me putting the stuff in where mum tells me to put them in. So she's designed and I've got to try and put it into this very cloudy water. <laughs> so this is all the chemicals that I've put in. So I've just got to feel my way in and around what she's done and how she's set it up. So literally, watch me. Goes in there, that goes over there. My net fish. Mum listening to the Rocket Man soundtrack upstairs. She takes <laughs> after me. Okay, and then that goes in the top corner. My net fishies. Not she gonna get squashed. And that goes in there. My net fishies. Okay. And then. Uh, that goes in the middle. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure all the gas, uh, gas. <laughs> Make sure the air pockets are out. And then feel it's around there somewhere. And our fish. Okay. If anyone got stuck in there? No. We know about it. Okay. And then final couple of bits in. That goes there. Where she told me to. Okay. This fish wants to say hello. Hello, fishies. That goes in there somewhere. Really attention seeking for the camera. Yep. And then final couple of things go in. Hello, Angel Fish. So, big rock and that. That goes. The two beach there. Thing. And the rock. And then last one on the fish ornament marathon. Probably put that a little bit there. Yeah, put the and rock the at rock the front. Around there. That she wants there. And then two pebbles. Go, 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 go,